Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything related to Alphabet Inc., the company that owns lots of other companies. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the festive audience. Today we're talking about Google app updates, holy phones, your comments, and more. Before we get to our top story, Google CEO Sundar Pichai is testifying before the U.S. Congress as we are recording this episode. So we'll circle back to that later. Speaking of circles, let's talk about Google+. Plus. On to Plus Place. Google Plus is dying sooner than expected. Google announced that a bug in Google Plus affected 52 million users. You might be thinking, hey, didn't Google mention a Google Plus bug a few months ago? And you'd be right because you are very, very good with the memory. That bug was also paired with the announcement that Google Plus was joining Google Wave, Buzz, and Reader in the great offline in August of 2019. So for this huge bug news, Google did it again. It says that Google Plus is taking a dirt nap in April instead. Google also said that all Google Plus APIs are going kaput within 90 days of its announcement. Let's head on over to Android Avenue. Samsung introduced the Samsung A8S. It's the first Samsung phone using the Infinity O screen. That's the one with a punched hole. The A8S might give us a hint as to what the Galaxy S10 could look like using that holy display. The A8S also got rid of the standard headphone jack. Is that another hint of the future? As anybody who watches the show knows, Samsung respects our opinion so much that they listen to every word we say. So listen up, Samsung. Don't kill the headphone jack on the S10. Just don't do it. Huawei showed off its Honor View 20. It also has a hole punch design for the front facing camera. It was announced a few hours before the Samsung one, so it's the world's first phone with that kind of feature. Woohoo, way to go, Huawei. On the back, the Honor View 20 has a 48 megapixel camera. And for giggles, let's compare hole sizes. The Honor View 20 has a 4.5 millimeter hole. The A8S has a 6 millimeter hole. Huawei managed to make the hole smaller by making part of the display transparent. And now it's time for Uptown Updates. Google Lens for iOS got an upgrade. Instead of having to take a photo and then have Lens do the work, iOS users will get a live viewfinder in the Google app. iOS is also getting the For You tab in the Google Maps app. Google Fit has some updates. It now includes a widget so you can see your steps at a glance. Fit also has a breathing exercise function if you've got a Wear OS device. Assistant is also getting a new trick, an audio news playlist that Google says is assembled in that moment for you. It seems similar to Amazon's flash briefing feature where you can get a rundown of pre-specified recordings. Google says audio news will roll out first to a limited number of people in the US and in English. Let's go to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight on the most amazing audience in the world, and that's you guys. Use the force and lots of others are helping me out with my pronunciation. The development Sidewalk Labs is working on is pronounced Keyside. I said Quayside, so I'm a dummy. Thanks, guys. Alejandro Diego asks, do you still live with your mom or do you live with a bunch of cats? It's got to be either one or the other. Well, Alejandro, nope and nope. Pavinator asks, which Android phone would you buy, Pixel 3 or Galaxy Note 9? As you are all aware, I'm a very weird guy who owns no cats. I like the Note line because I like to write out my thoughts using a pen or stylus. If you don't care about using a stylus, I think the Pixel 3 is a fine phone. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. One more bit of news. There's a new YouTube record. The trailer for Avengers Endgame managed to pull in 289 million views in 24 hours. That's the most views for a trailer ever on YouTube. The previous champ, Avengers Infinity War, with a paltry 224 million views. Okay, bye-bye.